In this video, we are going to look at the area of squares and rectangles review. All right, so each side of a square piece of cardboard is four feet long. So what is the piece of cardboard's area? All right, so first let's remind ourselves what the formula is to find the area of a square. And the formula is the side length squared or the side length times itself. So side times side. All right, so in this case, each side is four feet long. So that would be four squared, which equals four times four, which equals 16 square feet. Nice work. In order to find the amount of flooring Angela needs to buy, find the area of a square room that has a width and height of three meters. So again, our formula is the side squared. Okay, our side is three squared equals three times three, which equals nine. Alyssa lives on the International Space Station. Cool. In order to, to calculate the power gained by the solar panels, Alyssa needs to find their area. If a square panel is one foot long, then what is the area? So our formula, side squared, our measurement is one, one squared, or one times one, equals one. So our answer is one square feet, or square foot in this case. A tabletop has sides of one foot and two feet. So what is the area? So this one is asking us about a rectangle. All right, so our rectangle looks like this. The sides are not the same. All right, so the way that we find the area of a rectangle is doing length times width or base times height. So our length is one and our width is two. So we do one times two equals two. So our answer is two square feet. In order to determine how much seed to buy, Tyler needs to find the area of a rectangular plot of farmland. What is the area if the width is one kilometer and the height is three kilometers? So again, we need to remember that this one is a rectangle, so our sides are not the same length, and we find our area length times width. So our length here, is one and our width is three so one times three equals three square kilometers so these ones we do it the exact same way it's just that this one is giving us a visual okay so the area of this figure it's a rectangle so we know its length length times width, so two times three equals six. Okay, and this one, even though it's super big, it's not so big, so this one we have one times five equals five. In order to find the amount of flooring Gabriel needs to buy, Find the area of a square room that has a width and height of two meters. So remember, our formula is side squared. Okay, so our width and height are two. So two squared or two times two equals four square meters. The surface of a piece of cardboard is three feet long and eight feet wide. 
what is the piece of cardboard's area? All right, so we have ourselves a rectangle. And our length is three and our width is eight. So to find our area, we have to do length of three times width of eight, and that equals 24 square feet. A tabletop has sides of three feet and nine feet. What is the area? Let's work that out. All right, so our length is three and our width is nine. So to find the answer, we need to do three times nine equals 27 square feet. A top of a coffee table has a height of seven feet and a width of one foot. What is the area? So for this one, we know right away height and width, seven times one, is just going to go ahead and be seven. A tabletop has two sides of two feet and nine feet. What is the area? So by this point, we don't really have to draw the visual anymore. We know that to find our answers, we're multiplying the length and the width, okay? Or we're multiplying the sides together. So simply we could just do two times nine, which is 18. What is the area of this figure? So we're looking at our width of eight, our length of four, eight times four, equals 32. All right, again, we're looking at our width is six, our, our length is four, four times six equals 24.